Hello Promising Traders, Alex here from PromisingTrader.com I hope you're doing great, today is Sunday the 18th of August and it's almost 6 a.m. Actually it is 6 a.m. in the UK. Before I begin, this is not financial trading investing advice, these are my mere observations and speculations towards this market. I will never tell you what to do with your money and if it seems so, it is just paper trading, the one I referred to. This one here. Where is it? Here. Paper trading, right? Where you don't put your real money and you should never trust anyone who tells you what to do with your money. Neither online nor offline. People may have hidden interests. Always do your own due diligence. I collect things that I think you can use for your due diligence and I share them with you with my referral links in the description which means that if you buy from them you will support me I, you don't pay more you will pay exactly the same but you will support me another way to support me is to like this video share this video subscribe to the channel and tick the little bell icon that's the free way to support me if you don't like what I'm saying if, you, if there's anything wrong with what I'm saying that you would like me to change or you don't agree just let me know in the comments I will be more than happy to know it now without any further ado let's begin with the analysis today is the last day of this candle here this candle so far doesn't look very beautiful it's again red it's again crossing one of the support areas so it's been piercing this area ever since uh, this week but before I analyze this candle because this candle is not finished so things may change and it may close here maybe before I talk about this candle let's see all the swings of digibytes in the last weeks now the first one was here okay and this line definitely was broken last week and even the week before and even two weeks before so this not this is not a support for this base area the previous one is this and this is still valid because the bottom of this line is this one okay let me also delete all this line and we, I can redraw them later right because it's easier like this okay so this is the base and so far it's not closing before this support here this one is no longer valid now the previous is this one here I'm not gonna draw the line but there is definitely a line in here And then it's two. Okay. We have then the, the the little rally and then the big rally here. So now what we would like to see is Digibyte not closing below this line here. Let me just turn on my battery charger because when my mobile my computer goes on power mode, meaning I don't know if it's correct the term, but it just the fan goes on and it drains the battery very quickly it's a very old laptop mine um, okay uh, so this is the base let's assume that this is not going to be broken actually we have this one as well okay so we have this very these three lines are very important actually this one is not really where I would like it to be Okay, I also locked this one. So these are now our three main lines. And I'm also going to delete this one at the moment. Okay. Let me also make this one thicker. Ah like this okay perfect these two are the ones we don't want to be broken at this point because this has already been broken and we want this to be the, the first impulse wave okay 
so maybe this is an A, B, C, oh sorry, um, yeah, sorry, this one is the, the first improvement, so this is maybe A, B, C, as per Elliott wave theory, and then there's going to be the next wave, the next impulse wave, and if this is the case, which quite frankly I doubt, but let's just I did something wrong. No. Okay. We are talking about Digibyte going here, which is, look, it's not very unrealistic, unrealistic because it's an area of support and resistance. Here ish. Okay, not exactly here. Now, uh, I may leave this here. Look also, they coincide with other lines. I may leave this here. here. Well, this could be the third, the fifth impulse wave. So it could be. Well, let me do the, the line. I'm, I'm doing just. I don't like the Elliott wave theory. I mean, I like it, but I know I'm not very good at finding things with that because it's too difficult. Above all, finding the um, retracement, the correction waves. Now. Because the the third wave should not cannot it's not if it does it's not the third wave cannot go below the closure of the the first impulse wave. I'm going to make it go around here. Okay, we have a nice uh, support area in here. Well, let's do this, and then the third maybe go here. Okay, this could be something that may happen. Okay, let me just. I don't know. It's just. Well, I can leave it here if you want. Actually, you cannot tell me, so you don't know. <laughs> you, you maybe want me to leave it here, you may not. I leave it here. But it's just. Let's see. Okay. And this one also looks very long, but why not? Let's leave it here. Maybe this one is going to go higher. So maybe their correction will be just here. So yeah, you know, you don't know, but let's let's keep it simple like this, okay? And let's see how things go. Now, if we check the price action, uh, again, the price action is showing at this big red candle again, which is not looking good because the bodies were getting smaller, and now <laughs> the bodies are getting big again, which is not good. Look. Small body, big body, small body, big body is going to probably go down. And if it does, we have this last hope. Otherwise, yeah, this one cannot it cannot go below this, and we are really getting close now to that. Um, the two lines are the two green lines, the, the, the lowest is 0 0.00727448, and this one that we are nearly flirting with. Is 0 0.00792231. Okay, while the 100% um, retracement is 0 0.00655555555505. Uh, so, yeah, let's see how things go. Because, you know, maybe this is it. Maybe it's going to go higher. As I said, it will take a few weeks. Because of this, it will take. It will not resume an uptrend now, all, all of a sudden. I don't think. I don't see this happening. But it is, you need to give it at least three days. But actually, this happens. So let's not lose the hopes. Maybe it just goes up like crazy. But at the moment, it doesn't look good. Um, one thing that we can see with respect on the previous candle is that there is no volume because. Today is the last day for this candle, and obviously, you cannot really reach this, and not even this, probably. So, yeah, there is not much volume, which is not uh, there's no activity basically. But let's see, you see, that it just went up now. So, let's go to the daily and let's see how it did yesterday. I think. I gave you a potential setup, but I don't think it worked. Obviously, these things need 
more analysis than what I'm doing in these videos. You need to make your own due diligence on this stuff. Here, well, by just just because there is a line here, look, it looks like there is an uptrend here, <laughs> even though the volume is dropping, which is not good again, but in here it looks like it's trending up, it looks like it may cross the red, the blue may cross the red line, so potentially a bull crossover. RSI also keeps bouncing at the same price, lots of lower shadows here, here the bodies are not particularly big, so there are these two contrasting things between weekly and daily. Let's hope for the daily to prevail and let's check the six hours. In the six hours, you see the shadows don't match because this is the lowest in the weekly, but this is definitely not the lowest in the six hours, which is the lowest that we have. This is something I really don't understand about these charts on Digibyte, and it's the first time I see it. I forget to ask um, Trading View about it. I always forget. But there is something weird. Anyway, here we have the bull, typical bull um, pattern on RSI. In fact, it changed polarity from oversold, it went to 40. Oversold is at uh, 30. Boom. Now it's flirting on 30. Now here, the histogram is still not very sh clear. Uh, I want to believe it's going to trend up. And uh, still, though, it's closing below the ATMA. But maybe this is a reversal. Actually, it looks like there is a reversal here. Now let's see how it goes today. There is not much that I can tell except for this bullish engulfing pattern which is a beautiful engulfing pattern I mean could be better but it's not it's not bad uh, the body nearly engulfs uh, the shadows of the previous candle there, these are big shadows so it's not it's not bad and there is another one here this is either a bullish or a piercing line at the moment it's a piercing line yeah because the, the closure of this candle doesn't engulf or it's not at the same price of this pinning top here. So it's a piercing pattern which is an, another bull confirmation. So yeah, my take is that it's going to go to this price here of 0 0.00950266. It's going, to, it's going to go there in my opinion. If it didn't go yesterday, I think yesterday I was telling the same. He didn't do it yesterday, but he still can do it today. You see, a 6% profit. Actually, I believe it's may really likely to happen. Um, the volume is increasing slightly between before the previous scandal, the smaller body. Um, this is a Harami, but it's at the bottom of a downtrend, so I wouldn't be concerned about that. In the three hours, let's see what we can tell. Actually, in the three hours, it doesn't look very bullish and in fact we want it to close above well if it closes above this it's obvious that it goes higher um, but I wouldn't call this one a shooting star quite frankly uh, but why not uh, I don't know it's not it's not an uptrend to me it's on a downtrend and it's it's not a shooting star to me this one and so I would ignore it uh, green candles are prevailing in number here in this part so I would expect despite this unclear thinking on MACD yeah it's still it's still bouncing over or on the free, on the red line so yeah I would say it, in my opinion it would tend to go higher now the lower shadow here didn't betray my expectancy or my, I don't know how to call it, my whatever. <laughs> the translator doesn't work at 6 in the morning. Now, it never works. This is a shooting star that I would trust. 
and obviously this hammer did not work closing below below but actually now it is resuming an uptrend and mm, this is a hanging man but it's not valid because the body of this one the end doesn't close below it here we have a window yeah um, you know this price line the 233 EMA which at the moment is 0 0.09 uh, sorry 0 0.00931627 but this is subject to change because it's a moving average this one in my opinion would be the, the more realistic goal and I do believe it's going to happen today so for sure we have this 4% the same that we saw yesterday that didn't probably happen I do not remember now exactly what I hold on let me see 16 16 17 no it did not happen and so yeah it's just taking longer I'm, I'm not doing day trading stuff so but anyway let's go in the 15 minutes and see how they look like they look like they have lots of green candles lots of volume they look like they really want to do the crossover but actually they ended up by not doing the crossover in here let's see 15 16 17 there was a crossover yesterday but it wasn't a big crossover and I think it was something I was mentioning it could be a whole sideway area this okay because now it looks like it's gonna cross again it doesn't look like it wants to drop it looks like it is more likely to cross it again which means exactly that it's not trending not even in the 15 minutes obviously in 15 minutes things may change more quickly than in the hours and the days so yeah and also it's not really trending but the the trend area is getting narrow the non-trending area the box is getting narrow because we have lower higher lows sorry and uh, more or less well it's, it's shifting here now but if we check a um, bigger view we have the polarity only changing the bottom going up not much going not much from the top the top is reached eventually somehow if we consider this being the top and obviously we don't know this one now but I think chances are it's going to go here again uh, so yeah mm, let's see it's interesting it's simply not trending again even today so it makes it very difficult to understand what it may do uh, let me go to BTC DGB BTC and let's see Poloniex how it went yesterday I didn't look at it yesterday mm, doesn't look bad but it doesn't even look like it's doing much actually there is no volume today but it's normal because today it's new and uh, yeah I don't think it's going to do anything any soon at this point you know it looks like it's going to go higher indeed but may keep dropping a little bit more here and let's see the weekly In the weekly still it looks uh, like the histogram is about to do a crossover not only the histogram the two lines in here uh, but RSI is not very nice looking because it's oversold however things must change at a certain point and why not this being the base why not after all this one is also a kind of hammer shape if we look at the daily but let's go first to the monthly I want to see the monthly okay in the monthly yeah it takes it takes a little bit of time here to make a reversal so yeah what I want, don't want to see is 
leaving this red this green area quite frankly what I really don't want Digibyte to do is leaving this green area but I don't think there's going to be anything anything significant like this magnitude here any soon actually it's going to probably do this which is not bad I mean if it, if it trends between this and this line it's not bad at all this one the base is uh, 171 Satoshi and the top of this is 110 it's a lot of money here that can be made anyway even if it's not trending but let's go to the daily the daily we have this kind of hammer shape which is being broken but let's pretend it wasn't broken and now it's simply not trending so I don't know I haven't seen Bitcoin yet I don't know if there is a relation between this and Bitcoin uh, but well, I can quickly check BTC USD The, the thing is that Bitcoin people believe it's going to go up again. What? Oh, Bitstamp. BTC USD. This one. Okay. But yeah, people believe it's going to go up again probably, and that's why people are not moving money from Bitcoin. But actually, they should, in my opinion, because Bitcoin is going to drop. So I think many things depend on Bitcoin. The fact that yeah, well, this is not Bitcoin, this is not, this is Digibyte, so, yeah, I don't think we will see anything significant today on the Digibyte Bitcoin, and as for Digibyte US Dollar, yeah, there is this potential rally here, actually, sorry, here, to the um, 0 0.0095, I am sorry, <laughs> I just woke up, <laughs> zero, zero, uh, sorry, zero point zero zero nine two five zero two six six, um, and nothing else today, I didn't want to get up from the bed, really, I was dreaming, <laughs> I was sleeping so beautifully, um, but I, if I don't know, this in the morning, I cannot do it throughout the day, so I must wake up and do these videos, even because now I have to prepare the thumbnail, which is... I love to do it, but it takes time, and I need to write the description, which I don't love to do. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, I had to wake up early. Anyway, so, apologies for yawing. Um, <laughs> I couldn't stop it. So, yeah, my opinion is, today we won't see much movement, but... Yeah, nothing. I wanted to see this uh, candle. But, hopefully... Digibyte may go to this first red line again 00950266 which in the weekly would make this candle look so much better because it would be here and I hope so I hope I hope to see a long lower shadow tomorrow morning when I'll do the, the next analysis because that would mean a better bull a better bull um, situation here and we really don't want Digibyte to touch these two lines really it's very close to the bottom it's a huge retracement now if it goes back and forth here for the next months at least we know there is a solid confirmation and uh, the accumulation phase began I think it has but we don't know exactly anything with trading it's just a matter of calculating the probability and so yep I uh, thank you for watching. I think I made a very long video today. I'm really sorry about that. I didn't mean to. Uh, unfortunately, I like to speak. <laughs> and so I'll see you tomorrow with the next video. Bye-bye.